Amps, this is your parsing engine. I need each one of you to bring in your table header. Boom, it's off the disk. I now need each of you to read your data blocks. It's off the disk into memory, and that's a full table scan. Each amp will sequentially read the rows that they own in that block until they're at the end. Faux table scan. Really want to make sure you understand that the Achilles heel of any system is bringing that block into memory. So many people say to me, Tom, this is a great SQL class. Should I do a between statement or a greater than, less than statement? And I go, you know, that's not the performance tuning that you would want to worry about. It's all about limiting the block movement. Now, this is pretty crazy, but this is the way it works. If you wanted to read one row and even one column in this example, it would still need to bring the entire block from disk into memory just for that one little read. That's just the way it works. It's called the cold, hard facts. This is going to really begin to add enormous value to your knowledge. Now take a look at this. Each table has a primary index. Here we have two amps and we can see that we've got their data blocks so that data is loaded. When you use the primary index and the WHERE clause, how many blocks do you think are going to move here? The business user says, I want to know all information about employee number eight. And the parsing engine gets that query and says, you know what? Employee number is the primary index. Hash eight. Ooh, go to amp number two. Just bring in one block. And that is your first great example of performance tuning through much less block movement. In this case, only one every single time. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings.